All right, so today's video hopefully will be a quick one. Uh, we're going to be installing virtualization uh, for Vert Manager. We're basically going to be installing Vert Manager. So this is how to install everything you need for virtualization or Vert Manager in one simple little click. So once again, sudo administrator writes DNF is the package manager and you're telling it to install everything related to, well, virtualization. We're going to hit yes and we're going to be starting two things that are needed to make the virtualization work this is the service for vert manager and we're also going to be enabling this once that's done and there you go now it should work right off the bat it should just function so if we head in here you'll see vert machine or virtual machine and it's going to tell you to enter your password once you're done that you can hit new and create a virtual machine so i'm going to create a virtual machine with you guys and we're going to boot something up uh i'm going to grab a iso off of my you know um drive here real quick we're going to do a everything installer now i'm going to paste this into my home directory for permission reasons okay and i'm gonna hit new we're gonna do local media install i'm going to browse we're gonna browse local i'm gonna click my home directory i'm gonna grab the fedora everything net installer we're gonna go forward i'm gonna hit yes i'm gonna give it like 16 gigs of ram spare whatever you can and I'm going to hit forward. I'm going to make this like 120 gigs. And we're going to customize, okay? Now in here, I'm going to switch to UEFI. We're going to hit apply. For memory, we're going to leave it. And we're going to enable the boot menu in case we need it. Other than that, you should be pretty much just good to go, you know? Uh, hopefully your USBs and stuff can be sent in know because they are there and they should work but if you need to send something in that's a bit more complicated you can go to add hardware and you can send in a specific device under usb host device and doing this will let you have like the actual device fully integrated but then uh there's this page and this one's a little bit complicated but you can send in uh your gpu if you need to you can send in any nvme that you want to I believe I have another one in here somewhere. Probably not gonna show the one I'm using because, well, I'm using it, so it's not gonna be here. Um, but yeah, there's your, your USB controllers that you can send in and your SATA drives that you can send in. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff that you can do. I would normally make a full, like, full on video about this, but you need to understand that. Uh, it's kind of complicated, you know? So hitting begin installation will automatically, you know, start everything up. And once that happens, we're booting in. And you can do whatever you want. So if you wanted to do this with, say, Windows 11, it's pretty easy to do this with Windows 11. You just have to add emulated TPM to get it going. And that's all. And as you could see, when you went to add hardware, you saw a TPM option. Anyway, just a short, quick video to get you into this. Learning this is pretty easy, and I found that the only ISO it does not work with is the Nabora one, so there is that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe. You know, join me on this adventure. Come into my community. We're quite friendly, and, uh, you know, if you have something to teach Linux users, come put it in the forums. Bye, everybody.